my beauties. As some of you know, I have a cold at the time of recording this. So if I'm a bit snotty, congested, etc., etc., just bear with me, please. I tried to get my words out then and they just like flipped over and I was just like, ooh, can't talk properly. And um, you know when your ears are like, you that congested that your ears start feeling really muffled. And I know I am Claire Audient and I hear spirit as well. Um, but it, you can hear them. You hear them talking to you inside of your ear. It, like kind of, for me, it comes down and it goes across into your ear. Um, and then I hear you guys talking to me like normally as if I'd have a normal conversation. But then you add congestion on the top and it just makes up for this whole like <laughs> of spirit talking to you. <laughs> Anyway, I don't think that made any sense, but I know what I was trying to say. So today we are doing what do they want from you? What do they want? Deck number one, deck number two, being dragged to the older decks. Uh, dragged is probably the one wrong word, but drawn to the older decks. This one, there's the fountain tarot. And this one um, is absolutely beautiful. It's one of my favourite. Well, it was one of my favourites for a long time. And it's the Luminous Spirit Tarot. Um, as you can tell, they're pretty battered and bruised. But they, um, I like the reflective energy on them. Don't number one. Don't number two. Let's go. So, number one. We are thinking of you and you are thinking of your person. Think of them for me. And we will get into the collective energy of what do they want from this situation. What do they want? So getting into your person's energy, creating that beautiful energy between you all. Lovely, beautiful, beautiful. So let's go. What does your person or the person you're thinking of, doesn't have to specifically be your person, want from the situation with you? So I can hear the song. Um, what I quite liked about this was I got two songs um, in a row. Now, the first one, I don't know, um, but it was something like, I can move mountains, is what they said. Then I got, we're, we're going down a mountain theme. We got uh, Climb Every Mountain from Sound of Music. And then I just got another one, um, which is on top of the mountain now i know that song i wouldn't normally listen to that kind of song but um eddie hall who is one of the the world's strongest man he goes to my gym and uh it just makes me think of him so <laughs> there is talking about great great strength going on with this relationship now in lenormand Lenoma, which is the French fortune telling deck, the mountains often symbolise blocks. Um, but on top of the mountain also symbolises strength and courage and being on top of your game. So what those songs are saying with spirit kind of entering that energy straight away, all these mountains, is there may be blocks, but you can overcome them and be at the top of your game, which I absolutely love. Um, and this is coming up in your person's energy. So this is where they are, rather than perhaps you. You might be exactly the same, um, but when we're looking at what they want from this situation, the first messages that Spirit are directly channeling is that, that they might feel that there are blocks in the way, but they do plan to overcome them which I totally love. And we can see that from the first three cards that have jumped out. So we've got the nine of swords over here, which is your person's fears. So when we're talking about, we've gone from the mountain to climbing every mountain to being on top of the mountain. This is definitely a journey between you guys. And they might have fears over this situation. They might even be having some sleepless nights. But what is really important, imperative spirit are saying, is that you know that their emotions are real for you and they can see an end goal very 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 important they also spirit just showed me the red ribbon and i know that i'm sure that's japanese prophecy talking about a red ribbon and how that red ribbon is connected finger to finger um you can have a look at it you could probably google it it's my congestion at that click me teeth click me ears a bit um <laughs> you can probably have a look at it if you typed in red ribbon japanese thing it explains that they believe um and again please don't quote me if i um can't remember the specifics of it but they talk about the red thread of destiny and how you are all meant to be together with the red thread connects you all and that is really kind of coming up over here your person essentially believes in fate over this situation and that you guys can overcome boundaries and blocks and spirit saying to me really clearly that actually this is something that you have overcome in past lives so there's probably a bit of karmic energy between you guys as well so journeying overcoming things and seeing a future is really important there is fear okay there is fear what type of fear are we looking at when we say there is fear let's have a look what is that person's fears over the situation gonna see who's gonna see who's 
I haven't even got a sun to look at, but it's so cloudy and miserable in England today. You know, say like when you're going to see is look at the sun and it comes out better. Okay, so the blocks over this are fours. So you've got two fours. Now, the 444, four, four, if you ever see 444s, four, four, they tend to symbolise a family connection, a unit. So it could be that they're a family influencing this situation, but it could also be that they can see a future of you and building a family connection, and it could just be freaking them out a little bit. Um, again, talking about fate and being a believer in fate. With the Four of Swords and Four of Cups, it is might appear a bit stagnant you might think that not much is actually happening but spirit are telling me to tell you that things are going on behind the scene and they just really clearly showed me the tower card so we're talking tarot about the towers tarot tarot and tower with my accent you can sometimes get them quite mud muddled up big t towers little t towers big t towers separations divorces difficult things really bad things happening little t towers arguments getting fed up with situations um anything along those lines. Now the towers fall so things can be rebuilt. And with spirit saying this, they're saying if the energy is stagnant, don't panic. Your person is going to have a realisation call, a, a reality check um, and realise that they want to make those moves towards you. And again, with the 444s that they are showing me, um, symbolising the family, okay? Creating new, uh, new things. So what do they want? They see a future of you. They believe in fate. They've just got to release these fears. And if it is stagnant, it's because they are in that space of fear. Um, that this is really like the real deal. You know, like when you get, uh, well, I don't know how many of you have been married, but I, I was married. I'm now divorced, and I have um, my partner. But when I was uh, getting married before, you know that itchy feet, because you like to show this is serious this can be the, the real deal well because of that um that's the kind of energy it's a little bit itchy feet now the other two cards that come out when we're asking what they want is three of wands and king of cups so your person creating that movement towards you based on their emotions so what do they want they want a future when do they want it not quite yet <laughs> what do we want a future when do they want it not quite yet where is it going it's heading in that direction they've just got to overcome those fears um overcome their fears the blocks the boundaries everything that they have put in place to self-protect and once they do that this moves into your favor let me just ask how they're ever going to overcome the boundaries well we know that the towers are going to hit um how will they overcome the blocks we know those towers are going to hit and with the two of cups coming in, it is showing the true love connection between you guys. So when there is love, there is a way. When there is love, everything else kind of doesn't really matter, you know? They have a realisation of their true feelings for you. And again, with it being quite a mystical card, very much a, a more spiritual connection. And that's step number one. So if you need me, drop me a message or uh, mrlovetarot at gmail.com or you can DM me on Instagram or Facebook. Okay, deck number two. Let's go. So we are doing what does your person want? And we are going from your energy straight into theirs. And if you just tapped in, tuned in, turned on, and I am a little bit sniffly, I have a cold. It's not a bad cold, but it's not a great cold. And once I finish reading, I am so getting in my PJs, making a cup of hot chocolate, having baby cuddles, and watching some movies. That is the kind of day we are talking about. Um, but for now, we are with spirit and we are communicating the messages that they want to spread over to you okay so what does your person or the person you're thinking of want it doesn't have to be a specific person that you're like this person could be my person or that person it's the person that you're thinking of and we pull out the mutual energy between you guys so what does wait what does your person want from the situation what do they want from you both oh goodness gracious me Oh my goodness, what are you up to? So you guys are probably quite annoyed at your person, a bit pissed off of them and aren't really sure what the game and tactics they are playing. We have got major stuff happening here. So I pull five cards, okay? You have got four major arcana, which is the big cards, which are the situations, which is the life things, um, and this is major, Okay. So what does your person want from you? Major things going on here, major things going on underneath the scene. Um, Spirit just showed me the soil and they showed me what happens underneath the soil. Okay, so you have a tree, obviously. You have a tree, 
then you have soil, then you have roots. Now, what they are showing me is just what is bubbling underneath the surface. You guys might not be in communication at the moment because the other card that jumped out is the Eight of Cups. So your person might have took a step back from the situation and you are feeling that pulling away, that sadness, that heaviness. But with them showing me, and they keep showing me, the under of the earth, this is showing that things are bubbling under the scene. Things are happening here that you aren't quite aware about. The other thing we talk about with that was is druidry. Obviously, you know by now uh, that I am a druid. I am a high priestess. Um, and with druidry, we talk about the soil and we talk about the fossils and we talk about earth. So every single little bit of soil that is around you is coming from bones. It's coming from old grow or old roots. It comes from everything that has passed away. But through that passing away, there is growth, okay? So even though you're having soil and, you know, the old fossils, if you go outside and you, you put your hands in, I don't know if any of you like getting dirty um, with mud, but, you know, I, I love a bit of mud. I like being dirty with the mud. And putting your hands in it, really feeling that, feeling that earth, that grounding energy, things are happening here that you aren't fully aware about. And it is only through death that life can be born again. And that's really, really important, okay? So it's bubbling under the scene and there is regrowth. So even though it's feeling a little bit uh, at the moment, things are changing. So the other cards, the world, judgment, star and strength. Really good cards. But it's had to go through this period of coming to a bit of a close. It's had to. Why, might you ask? Because it was stuck. It was stagnant. You were fed up. Perhaps things have been said or you know, perhaps they've gone ghost, whatever your individual circumstances are, it has been tough, it's been difficult, really, really difficult. But it is from that difficulties that things have bubbled and there is going to be a regrowth. So what your person wants, the world and judgment, let's read them together, okay? So this is talking about successful outcomes, things ending, new beginnings, chances again, and sorry, the, that's the world. And then with judgment coming up, a resurrection occurring, okay? So through death comes new growth. Again, things are bubbling under the surface, but it's about to come round again. I just got the song by Sponge, uh, Roots. So first of all, let's kind of come back to the Druidry talking about Roots of the Tree. But it's also um, a song, Sponge, S-P-U-N-G-E, one of the first bands I ever saw when I was like a teenager. Um, talking about Roots, talking about calling people from your past. And it's talking more about like kids when you were kids and... Uh, how you grew up together, don't forget the people from your past type thing. But we throw that into this energy today with talking about you guys and regrowth and rebirth and things changing. Remember that the dead leaves have to fall for new leaves to come through. And that is very much the energy coming up. And my apple tree, Guinevere. Yes, my apple tree is called Guinevere. She gave me the most beautiful apples in October and she is barren at the moment. Now, apples really symbolize fertility. Um, when I got her, I got her um, in Imolk in, when did I get pregnant? Imolk in 2021, February 1st, 2021. Did a little bit of magic. And then by Equinox, March 2021, uh, I was pregnant and I bought Guinevere in that time. She was a fertility, she's a fertility tree, uh, but she's also our family tree, you know? And she is completely barren at the moment, but come summer, Come spring, she's going to start blossoming and there is going to be regrowth in her. And that is like your relationship. It will come around again, even though it feels barren and it feels empty at the moment. There is fertile roots underneath the surface to grow again. Strength from the star. OK, over here. And um, this is talking about hope and dreams. But you've got to keep strong. OK, you've got to keep strong with this situation. When we're asking what your person wants. OK, because which that's the question. What does your person want? They have hope that this is going to turn around and that they can make this work. They can resurrect the situation. Um, but for now, they've took a step back from it. But they probably don't know that they want the situation to resurrect at the moment, but they will do. Let me just ask how we get from there to there. OK, so we can't go from plan A, which is I'm not quite sure what I'm ghosting or I'm doing being a knob, um, to point C, which is we're being I want to resurrect the connection. Let's just have a look at what point B is. What will create that change? OK, so we have the magician. That's a hand set, those ones. Oh, is it? 
yeah that's something to the hand so so we have the magician coming up so this is an alignment of your energy you are manifesting it if you need a manifesting plan give me a shout they have a really good success rate um and they can help bring you and your person back together. They, they, everyone loves them. And they're tailored just to you. So you message me what you want and I'll write your plan for you. How epic is that individual manifestation plans to align this with your purpose? So there's going to be an alignment on the energy. That's what's going to create the shift. And it's probably through you guys manifesting um, and a celebration. They might have good news and want to share it with you. They're probably thinking, oh, well... I want to share, actually, to be honest, I might, I feel that they might make up some news as well and, and text you and say, well, I, I had to tell you about this because it's exciting and it, you might find out later down the line, it's all a load of bollocks, but they are into you and like you and they will realise what actions they have created has caused this bit of, little bit of a breach in the energy between you guys and bring it back round again by manifesting. Yeah, so what do they want at the moment? chilling where's it going rebirth that's cool isn't it i like that that's step number two dm me on instagram facebook if you uh want me um i do voice note readings or email readings with a 24-hour turnaround for those of you that need a really quick response they're a 10 or a question uh 10 gbp great british pounds i'm not quite sure the equivalent but paypal works it all out and i also have spaces for video readings 50 minutes half hour manifesting plans life purpose readings all of that beautiful joyous stuff and um, you can just give me a shout i've just seen um i have a beautiful window here a really beautiful window and it takes me out from my house and it takes me over to the peak district and i've just seen someone with a tent and then it just i'm pretty sure it's just disappeared it was there and then it's gone and it's really windy so i'm just wondering if the tent has blown up in the air how bizarre Love you guys. Ciao.